Hey guys, it's Sylvia Wakana and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making Japanese curry pot pie. I'm half Japanese and half white American and what could be better than combining two favorite comfort foods from both countries? Chicken pot pie is an American classic. It's creamy chicken stew that is covered with a crispy pie crust. Japanese curry or kare is one of the most popular dishes in Japan, both homemade and in restaurants. And since it's technically a stew, it works well as pot pie. For this recipe, I made beef curry, which in hindsight, I realized I probably should have made chicken curry to keep it more in line with chicken pot pie, but you can use any protein you want. I'd also like to know I made this curry a little bit more on the thick side than typical Japanese curry, so it'll work better as a pot pie since you don't have rice to combine it with. And instead of using regular pie crust, I actually used puff pastry because I love puff pastry. I also used box Japanese curry roux for this, which is the most common way of making curry at home in Japan. But of course, if you wanna make your roux from scratch, go right ahead. And don't forget the written recipe is also on my blog and you can find a link for that below in the description. Also, I'm curious, have you had Japanese curry before? Let me know in the comments your thoughts about it. And while you're at it, make sure to like this video and also hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's make this pot pie. Cut half an onion into slices. Wash, peel, and cut potatoes into cubes. Then wash, peel, and cut the carrots. Take cubed beef, or protein of your choice, and brown in a pot. Then put in the onions, potatoes, and carrots, and mix it all together. Pour in water. Bring to a boil, and then reduce the heat to low, and boil for 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure to skim off any of the impurities during the cooking process. And here's a Japanese housewife trick to make boxed curry taste better. Use two different brands and mix it half and half. Once the veggies are almost cooked through, put in the curry roux blocks and stir until the sauce thickens. In a couple of ramekins or oven safe bowls, ladle in the curry. Prep your puff pastry. And then cut out sizes that would fit your ramekins. Put the puff pastry on top of the ramekins. Use egg wash on the puff pastry. And in an oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, cook the pot pies for 25 minutes. And then you're done. Itadakimasu. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to let me know if you tried out this recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I post more about Japanese food and culture. Hope you are all staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Matane!